हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन अ वेरी वेरी वार्म वेलकम एट योर ओन चैनल रिलेटेड विद लिटरेचर एंड एट प्रेजेंट वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड विद ग्रेट राइटर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट इराज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टैकल्ड सम डिफिकल्ट एंड एडवांस्ड क्वेश्चंस ऑफ रिलेटेड विद चार्ल्स डिकन्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ एडवांस क्वेज ऑन रॉबर्ट ब्राउनिंग इंडीड ही नीड्स no introduction he is one of the towering poet of english uh, literature he is also a very important voice from the victorian from the victorian age his poetry is full of uh, a person uh, uh, his poetry reflects the ideas of a person full with optimism and uh, his uh, belief in immortality of love all these things we know and how he explored his uh, poetic ideas through the medium of dramatic monologues uh, he uh, not only uh, browning but uh, even tanison and matthew arnolds were also composing dramatic monologues during the victorian age but among the, among these three uh, browning excelled in this form all these are basic information which we all know today i have brought certain questions which are from some lesser known but important poems uh, by browning and also some other related uh, facts i hope you would enjoy this quiz and uh, would give me some encouraging reviews so let's start this quiz with our first question and friends this question is encouraged by the actor charles mcready browning devoted his early creative energies to verse dramas okay uh, he published seven dramas between 1841 and 1846 you have to tell which among these is not one of them uh, we all know that uh, browning has a dramatic uh, genius Br browning was a dramatic genius even in his most successful dramatic monologues uh, we can uh, see the influence of dramatist uh, on the um, poet uh, to a, an extent because these early dramas were not uh, commercially uh, very uh, successful that is why browning has to switch to the poetry now out of these four uh, you have to tell me which is the which is not a drama is it king victor and king charles columns birthday a soul's tragedy or paracelsus uh, friends the correct the correct answer is paracelsus now paracelsus was one of his earliest uh, um, monologue uh, it is about uh, a physician and how he tells uh, like most of uh, the most of the speakers of browning's monologue he is also a failure but in his failure he seeks some sort of redemption all these three king victor and king charles columns birthday and a soul's tragedy Uh, these are his uh, dramas our next question Uh, this one is quite interesting uh, information and in an important question also mad house cells is the name of a section in browning's first collection of dramatic monologues dramatic lyrics dramatic lyrics is the name given to his first collection of dramatic monologues and in this dramatic lyrics there is a section called mad house cells as the title indicates this section includes poems about lunatic or mad characters now you have to tell me which among these poems uh, is or are the part of this section okay a mad house uh, cells as the name indicates the speaker or one of the character in the dramatic monologue suffers with some kind of insanity uh, the options are porphyria's lover johannes agricola in meditation or my last duchess out of these three which uh, one two or all of three poems are part of madhouse cells section 
uh, we all are very much aware of uh, the story of uh, Porphyria's lover which is about uh, a lover who basically strangles his beloved out of insecurity out of uh, love passionate obsessive love Johannes Agricola is once again about a person who feels that uh, he can justify uh, his uh, atheist uh, way of life he doesn't agree that God is uh, some kind of uh, super human being and uh, my last duchy is once again uh, it is a psychological study in ego and jealousy and how a duke a rich duke uh, kills or maybe uh, imprisons uh, his duchies now uh, these two poems Porphyria's lover and Johannes Agricola and meditation these two were included in the madhouse cells section so our right answer is B first and second okay going forward to our next question an early dramatic monologue by browning that studies the spiteful nature of a monk who filled with jealousy recently observes the genuine pleasure making of a fellow brother and wishing to send him to hell in a typical brownian fashion uh, in this monologue browning presents uh, the psychological study of we can say jealousy and this particular monk he is not happy to see that how uh, another companion brother Lawrence he enjoys the life though uh, behind this an enjoyment there is also innocence and in fact like my last chase in this monologue also uh, the speaker is himself culprit of those uh, sins which he attributes to his brother so our options are soliloquy of the spanish cloister rudel to the lady of tripoli the bishop orders his tomb at saint praxed church or the confessional all are very important poems very important monologues by browning uh, maybe you have uh, read or uh, have seen some reference material related to these uh, our answer to this particular question is uh, a so to the Spanish cloister yes this is the poem in which this particular Spanish cloister or monk is talking about brother Lawrence and how he wished that this brother Lawrence may be uh, sent to condemn to hell okay our next question friends uh, an early verse drama by Browning that is divided into four parts morning noon evening and night and in each section people at critical points in their lives make significant and far-reaching decisions when they hear uh, the speaker singing the basic plot is very simple and uh, it is a springtime the speaker she is a girl and when uh, she is passing her song is changing or her uh, song is uh, influencing the behavior or the thinking of the people who listen to her song uh, and uh, this particular song this this song which uh, the question is talking about is all uh, contains one of the most uh, often quoted um, uh, uh, quote of uh, Browning it is one of the most often quoted line by Brown in Browning's poetry so uh, which word play is it a soul's tragedy Pauline a fragment of a confession in a balcony or pipa passes okay because I have already told you it is a story of a girl you can get the idea it is pipa passes and God is in the heaven all the everything is right with the world such is the line which has basically considered um, Brownian optimistic philosophy Moving to our next question, which of the following classical legends has been the subject of a popular dramatic monologue by Browning, now an indispensable part of children literature? Because of his uh, intention to turn some uh, dramatic material into poetry, Browning picked this particular legend and then uh, he it, this became so much popular that for a long time it was an essential part of children curriculum is it Rip Van Winkle the story of Rip Van Winkle or the three musketeers or the Pied Piper of Hamelin or a very much English legend of Robin Hood okay I don't think 
think you need to guess the, you all must be aware of this poem it is Pied Piper of Hamelin the famous story of the piper who drove away all the rats from uh, the town of Hamelin and when he found that uh, people are not paying his due uh, he carried away the children as well uh, one small child he remains and he tells the story uh, so this is converted into a poem a beautiful and very interesting read okay uh, moving to our next question this particular poem a specimen of browning's philosophy of love narrates the story of a hyper optimistic and aged narrator who chose not to grieve for her just dead and quite young beloved but plans his meeting with her in their next life my dear friends uh, the, we can find this particular theme of unrequited love in many any of Browning's dramatic monologue and it is quite ironical also because in his personal life Browning was able to uh, get the love of his life when he eloped and married uh, elder to her Elizabeth Barrett Browning and their love story is one of the most romantic episodes in literature but in his poetry we find so much uh, uh, we can say faulty relationship unrequited love and uh, um, we can say even failed marriages also this poem is also one of these poems um, a woman's last word Evelyn hope love among the ruins or times revenge all are so such beautifully written uh, love poems dramatic monologues in which uh, among all of these poems the speaker suffers from some kind of we can say misgiving about love but this particular in this particular poem the speaker is quite an aged man he his beloved is quite young to uh, him but and she is dead too but instead of uh, weeping over the death uh, he consoles himself that one day he will meet her in the heaven this is one of the aspects of Browning's uh, philosophy of love that love never dies okay without making you more wait, wait for more for this the answer is Evelyn Ho our next question dear friends is child Roland to the dark tour come is one of the critically acclaimed poems of Browning let me tell you uh, if you are interested in movies and uh, horror fiction uh, Stephen King's uh, many uh, tower series is directly influenced by this particular poem such is the uh, cultural importance of this particular poem from where does Browning take the title this title child Roland uh, ye title kahan se aaya hai? okay is it uh, from a song of Edgar in Shakespeare's King Lear or is it a song of Ariel in Shakespeare's The Tempest a speech of Falstaff in Shakespeare's Henry Fourth Part First or a song of Ophelia in Shakespeare's Hamlet okay uh, I have very carefully uh, pointed out these options because sometimes when you are attempting a question uh, the options are so much uh, close to each other that you are bound to get confused now uh, Edgar and Ophelia Ophelia was actually mad and Edgar was feigning madness and in their madness they were also singing some song Falstaff we all know that he was famous for his ironical and witty speeches and Ariel uh, he also have uh, his quota of his share of songs but this particular line child Roland to the dark tower came this is part of a song when Edgar sings when he was feigning madness so the answer is a a song of Edgar in Shakespeare's King Lear okay our next question goes like that which later poem by Browning features Don Juan elaborating about the contrast between the intense ephemerality of desire with the dull permanence of love it is once again a common thematic concern of Browning to present these two contrasting aspects, not only related with love but also other aspects of life like materialistic success and other these things like so in this poem 
uh, Don Juan is talking about that how desire which has because it is like a flicker of a flame it has intense but ephemeral it is bound to die and on the other hand we have love which has permanence but because of its permanence it becomes dull so it is five fine at the fair the in album the two poets of Kroisik or Balustion's adventure all these are not so much popular works of Browning they are quite later works of Browning but they are also once again very interesting read and the answer to this question is five fine at the fair okay our next question my dear friends in this popular dramatic monologue the speaker regrets that just as he cannot ever perfectly capture an idea he cannot achieve total communion with his lover despite the helpful erotic suggestion of nature okay in this particular poem the speaker is with his beloved and they are uh, sitting in a very beautiful exotic uh, background outside Rome and uh, the speaker is uh, having this kind of dissatisfaction that he is not able to communicate his true and inner feeling to his beloved and he thinks that it is not possible even on uh, in on this earth uh, to express uh, the inner or spiritual communion so this is the idea basically which is expressed in this particular uh, monologue is it one way of love the last ride together one more one word more or two in the campaign or all are so popular famous dramatic monologues you must go and read these poems read about these poems they all are very beautiful specimen of English poetry for this particular question our answer my dear friends is two in the campaigner okay moving ahead to our next question this dramatic monologue is considered the one undisputable instance of Browning's disclosure of his private self as he dedicates the poem to EBB that is Elizabeth Barrett Browning Browning regrets how artists like Dante and Raphael had changed their artistic medium for their expression of love which he fails to do it is one of the the most popular poems by Browning and he very uh, uh, very for the uh, first time he discloses the intimate uh, relationship uh, he has with uh, uh, Elizabeth and he in this particular poem he talks about that Dante who was a poet who was a writer he uh, painted for his beloved uh, Beatrice Raphael who was a painter he composed sonnets uh, for his beloved so every artist for once changed the medium for his personal life uh, then he compares himself uh, with Moses who struck the rock for some water and uh, he, he says that just like Moses was not able to please his audience he is also not able to please his wife uh, or beloved in this case uh, Elizabeth Barrett because he doesn't have any idea how to express his love on the other hand Elizabeth was quite successfully uh, in his uh, series of sonnets able to express her love for Browning especially uh, in her sonnet sequence so this poem is expression of Browning's this this poem also makes an epilogue to the famous collection Browning's most uh, we can say celebrated collection of dramatic monologues men and women which was published in 1855 all these information please keep in your mind this is one of the most important part of Browning which you have to study and the answer for this particular uh, question is one word more it is one of the most important poems by Browning next question talks about in the famous dramatic monologue Caliban upon Setebos Caliban the, obviously he is taken from Shakespeare's The Tempest now who is Setebos in the poem we all know that how in uh, The Tempest Caliban is uh, subject to both uh, we can say fury and uh, sympathy uh, he is an ill treated creature now in this particular poem he talks about his relationship with Setebos 
Satabos. Who is Satabos? Is he Caliban's younger brother or Caliban's slave or Caliban's god or Caliban's beloved? So yes, dear friends, it is Caliban's god, a god like authority whom Caliban has to obey. And Caliban thinks that it is because of Satabos that he is in this condition. Uh, he uh, consider Satabos responsible because Satabos himself uh, is a, a very ill-treated kind of creature okay our next question dear friends browning was keenly interested in the lives of painters especially renisa time painters magician and other scholars there are many dramatic monologues whose subjects uh, are these eminent personalities now you have to tell me which among these poem does not have a painter as its main subject is it fra lippo lippi andrea del sarto betray sinorini or apt wogler these uh, I, I did this one i think is not such a tough question because you know very well fra lippo lippi and andrea del sarto all uh, these two poems are uh, about the famous painters now betray sinorini it is quite later poem by browning and uh, this uh, this poem is also about a painter it is the apt wogler who was a magician basically uh, so the ans the answer for this question is apt Wogler, uh, which is about a magician, not about a painter. Okay, our next question one who never turned his back but marched breast forward. This line is often quoted as a self descriptive and epitome of Browning's optimism. Which poem, in which poem does this line occur? Is it Asolando or Prospice? One word more, the last ride together. Once again, all four poems are very popular. Their lines, their text are, uh, we can find commonly quoted in different exams. And one who never turned his back, this is uh, Browning's, we can say, indomitable uh, optimism in life. And this is uh, from S.O. Lando. A very interesting fact let me share with you. S.O. Lando was published on the day of Browning's death. So it is also his last published work actually because it published on the very day uh, on which he died. So it is from the uh, from this collection S.O. Lando okay our next question dear friends browning wrote this poem as a critique of words words desertion of principle for material gain i hope this is one this is once again an easy question this particular poem talks about that how wordsworth who was a rebel who was basically in favor of uh, idea ideals of liberty how he became conservative and uh, agreed to a pension and the post of poet laureate is it Jocoseria, The Lost Reader, Youth and Age or Confessions. Okay friends, the answer I think most of you must uh, know about this. It is The Lost Reader. Jocoseria uh, in fact is a collection of poems uh, quite later published uh, in uh, Browning's uh, poetic career youth and age once again present two point of view related with love and confessions once again is a poem in which he talks about a lover okay our next question the barrets of wimpole street is a 1930 play based on the romance between robert browning and elizabeth barrett who is the writer of this hugely popular play okay 1930s mein jab ye play published it, uh, it it became quite hugely popular because it presented uh, the uh, we can intrigue the elopement and uh, the after drama of Browning's marriage now you have to tell me who is the dramatist who wrote this play was it John Arden Arthur Miller Rudolph Bezier or Ben Travers all these were uh, quite uh, active during the 1930s they all were dramatists of this period and the answer to this 
क्वेश्चन इज रुडोल्फ बेजियर ही रोड दिस प्ले एंड इट वॉज अ कमर्शियल सक्सेस ओके आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच अमंग दीज ऑप्शन शोज द करेक्टली मैच पेयर्स वन साइड वी हैव ऑन वन कॉलम वी हैव द नेम ऑफ द पॉयम द लास्ट राइट टूगेदर सेकेंड कॉलम इज अबाउट द लाइन फ्रा लिपोलिपी प्रोस्पाइस एंड बिशप ब्लो ग्राम्स एपोलॉजी फियर डेथ टू फील द फॉग इन माई थ्रॉट दिस इज ब्यूटिफुली प्रेजेंटेड इन दिस पॉइम प्रोस्पीस वंस अगेन केस ऑफ ऑप्टिमिज्म देन वाई ऑल मैन स्ट्राइव एंड हु सक्सीड्स आई होप दिस पॉइम इज रेड बाय ऑल ऑफ यू इट इज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट पॉइम्स एंड इट वंस अगेन शोज द डिवोशन एंड द ऑप्टिमिज्म ऑफ अ अनरिक्विट लव इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम the last ride together okay uh, let me uh, the last ride together okay uh, then we have our interests on the dangerous edge of things this is once again a very popular line because it also shows browning's keen interest into the characters who had some kind of we can say dangerous edge of things the innocent murderer this is the line from the poem in fact it is uh, from bishops blow grams apology and take away love and our earth is a tomb and yes it is from fra lippo lippi the poem about the famous italian painter so you can now find out the answer first is we have b for second we have d for third we have a and for fourth we have c so this is the right answer okay our next question our last question for this session given are the some facts about the poetry of browning find out the one the one that is not true apart from writing original poetry browning also translated the agamemnon's by aeschylus aeschylus the famous greek dramatist and agamemnon his tragedy uh, so according to this fact browning translated this uh, tragedy into english uh, second fact is the ring and the book uh, in fact i have not taken direct question from this particular work but it is one of the most in fact the most celebrated work by browning this book has 12 books and 10 dramatic monologues telling the proceedings of a roman murder trial in 1698 third fact is jocoseria by browning is a collection of 10 poems that include the famous prologue wanting is what in fact this wanting is what is one of the most parodied poems in english literature because it is written in such a simple way about uh, what is life and the fourth fact is browning and elizabeth barrett co-authored a book of sonnets and lyrics dramatic idyls now you have to find out which among these is not true my dear friends first second and three all these are true facts now the last one in fact 50% the last one is also correct Browning the last book of, uh, of dramatic monologues in that series is dramatic idyls but the incorrect information in this particular fact is co-authoring with elizabeth barrett uh, actually elizabeth had already died before browning compiled these dramatic idyls so these are uh, so this one is particularly not the correct fact okay friends i hope you find this session interesting and uh, it may have given you the idea uh, what to more read about browning so i know you have uh, covered browning but still sometimes we leave uh, some aspects and this quiz will help you to point out certain important things uh, we will meet soon with some other quizzes and videos keep supporting thank you friends